Hey everyone, today I'm super excited to be talking about this next project called Space and Time. And the reason I'm super excited about it is because they just announced a $20 million investment, yes, $20 million, uh, from a bunch of well known investors. Most notably, Microsoft's venture arm M12. So that's definitely exciting. Uh, they got a lot of great coverage. Uh, they've been on a lot of great blogs like uh, TechCrunch, uh, which is definitely cool. So we'll check out some of their announcements, uh, check out what this project is about, and of course, talk about how you guys can be involved if you guys choose to do so. So let's go space and time. So uh, here's their website. Uh, I thought it looks really cool. Uh, you could actually see all the different uh, planets that are circling, a polygon, Avalanche, Framework, uh, Ventures, Hashkey, Foresight Ventures, uh, Coin DCX, Stratos, Hash Capital, and more. We'll kind of go through uh, uh, some of the, the news uh, about that. Uh, but I do think that's exciting. Obviously, Microsoft is one of the biggest uh, tech companies out there, and it's great to see that they're you know, really thinking about the future, uh, and the future happens to be space and time, and uh, obviously crypto and blockchain. So that's definitely exciting. So uh, let's jump into some of the announcements uh, right now. Uh, as you can see here, uh, it says Microsoft M12. That's just their venture arm. It's the name. Led 20 million investment in Web3 platform space and time. Uh, so again, they kind of go through, walk through some of these things, and I kind of want to highlight them because I think it's cool. Uh, you don't see a lot of projects out there that get this kind of uh, attention. Uh, so I thought that was definitely exciting. So it says, um, space and time, centralized data platform, raised 20 million. Uh, our mission is to make smart contracts smarter and expand the use case of business logic through smart contracts. Uh, and that was specifically from the CEO and uh, co-founder of Space and Time. So it's great to see a bunch of well-known tech leaders are um, leading this project. So that's awesome. Uh, they kind of go through some of this stuff. So Space and Time will use proof of uh, SQL, SQL, uh, cryptography to allow business logic in traditional centralized systems to be automated and connect directly to smart contracts. So again, I'm not going to go through all this. I do think it's kind of cool. Uh, that they're getting this attention. So definitely check it out. And like I said, they're literally everywhere. A lot of people have been covering this. This is uh, the block. Co. They kind of talk a little bit um, about this. Uh, talk about some of their roadmap. Um, it says at first, space time is honing in on Web3 gaming, DeFi protocols. Uh, the platforms are indexed on major uh, EVM such as Polygon, Avalanche, and Ethereum. Uh, so that's definitely exciting. Uh, the other things that they kind of mentioned, if you read through it, it's, it's not only that Microsoft is just like investing in space and time, uh, they actually want to really, uh, really integrate uh, this with what they're already uh, working on. Obviously, their cloud solution, Azure, um, they're thinking about ways that they can um, kind of, um, you know, work together on that. So that's exciting. There's another article on the crypto kind of talking a little bit about them. They're, this is showing the co-founders of them. So again, they're showing who they are, talking about their background, kind of their mission, which is definitely uh, great to see. Uh, you see obviously some of their partners like uh, Chainlink also uh, talking about this, posting their own um, their, their own updates, kind of letting everyone know how excited they are about this. Um, Space Time is built from the ground up for a multi-chain platform for dApps and developers in gaming, DeFi, or any other project with next-gen analytics. Uh, they said developers that want ver verifiable, tamper-proof blockchain security or enterprise scale can easily build their dApps on Space and Time. Uh, so that's definitely great. Uh, obviously, their proof of SQL is something that uh, really uh, stands out, and I think that's awesome. So if you guys want to learn more about that obviously you could check out some of these uh, posts here's one on coin telegraph kind of talking um, about this even more but definitely check out their website if you guys want to check it out this is actually a trippy website that says touch to interact so you could actually like uh, touch uh, e each one of these things and kind of learn um, about this more about this obviously check out the website but these articles do a good job of kind of uh, outlining obviously the proof of SQL uh, novel cryptography protocol allows the decentralized data warehouse to not only return query results but in parallel also return a snark cryptography proof the data was untampered and the query was executed in a verified accurate way um, they also said that the Web3 ecosystem needs proof of SQL because most DApps rely on centralized databases that while efficient have the ability to tamper with data. So users can see the data coming but cannot tell if it has been added information to the data. So they obviously want to uh, fix that. Uh, obviously, uh, the, that article where they kind of highlight, um, yeah, it was this one where they kind of talk a little bit um, about this. The, they have this great video right here if you guys kind of want to learn uh, more uh, about this. Uh, how Space and Time raised $10 million to build a centralized data platform. I'm not going to uh, go through all of this uh, right now. I actually have it on mute. But if you check this out, um, I watched it earlier. Uh, I thought 
that's a great like summary of what this is all about and kind of like the opportunity here. Uh, and they also talk about the use cases. So uh, they said that this is developed as part of the Chainlinks, uh, Chainlink Lab startup. Uh, it's called Startup with Chainlink Program. Uh, space and time pulls data from blockchains and off-chain system using Oracle networks. Process off-chain to avoid high gas fees, which is obviously great for um, all, everyone. Slow throughput and then transmits the data back to a validation later. The validation data is sent back on chain to smart contracts. It creates trustless, tamper-proof data uh, and storage that can be plugged into smart contracts seamlessly. So, kind of, and they also kind of walk through some of the use cases. Uh, the off-chain processing of data will dramatically reduce the cost associated with fully on chain operations, combined with the ability to connect analytical insights directly into smart contracts will enable innovative use cases and business logic for smart contracts. So uh, new ways to work uh, better um, on chain uh, and it will create, as DeFi protocols become more advanced, they also must access large data uh, and complex computation off chain. Uh, and then even give example for gaming proof. Uh, uh, SQL allows end game results and in game events to be directly queryable by smart contracts. Game devs can offer incentives to players on chain, build new interactive between the smart contracts and game servers with space and time as a trustless intermediary. So, uh, a lot of great things. Again, uh, I know that there's a lot of um, information uh, that's just getting uh, announced and people are talking about it. Uh, this actually got posted uh, back in July, but obviously, because they're part of the startup with Chainlink. Uh, you know, they were sharing a lot of this information. Um, but I do think that um, there was a lot of people that were interested in the idea, obviously a lot of people that valued what they are doing. Uh, and this kind of, uh, these announcements kind of goes to show, um, you know, the real value uh, that they have uh, and kind of uh, how much uh, these investors really believe in the future of this project. Please check out the website, follow them on all the socials. I kind of put the links in the description for you guys to explore um, on your own. Um, but again, like I said, definitely check out those articles, check out what other people are saying uh, and kind of uh, learn about this yourself and see if this is something that you potentially want to be uh, involved in the future. So that's space and time. Uh, a little bit of a different video today, but I'm always trying to keep track of uh, new and exciting projects. And I think this is definitely uh, on the top of the list. So uh, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.